Alon Liel is a former director general of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and an international relations lecturer at Tel Aviv University. He joins us now from West Jerusalem. Thanks for joining us on the program. If the polls are correct, Netanyahu is in an even weaker position than after April's election when coalition talks collapsed. How much danger is Netanyahu's political future in here? Uh we have here a first of all big a personal change netanyahu will not run israel on its own anymore he will need at least two other leaders uh, who will run the country with him benny gantz and avigdo lieberman uh, who uh, turkey knows already from the past uh, ideologically there is also a change because netanyahu had a right-wing coalition until now and from now it's a center-right coalition so we have two big changes a weaker Netanyahu personally and a weaker ideology uh, on the right that has to now take into consideration uh, the center of the political map in Israel Mm -hmm. So speaking to supporters last night, Netanyahu spoke of the need to establish a Zionist government to prevent the formation of what he called a dangerous anti-Zionist government. Meanwhile, Gantz talked about his blue and white party creating a broad unity government. Who do you think would have more success in forming a government? No one of them can form a government on it, his own, on its own. Uh, they need each other at the moment. They will probably form the government together with the party that brought up this change, uh, which is a party called Israel Beitenu, Israel Our Home, uh, headed by Lieberman. So we will not see uh, uh, any one of the two leaders acting on his own. What? What Netanyahu said about the Zionist government, he means he will leave the Arab party outside. Arab party has 10% of the parliament, 12 seats out of 120. He will not enable them to be a player. And Benny Gantz called already the leader to have a meeting. This is a huge difference. So maybe the major difference between uh, Netanyahu and Gantz. Netanyahu doesn't want Arab politicians uh, in the in government. Gantz might enable it and at least is talking to them. Mm -hmm. So if Netanyahu and Gantz, uh, along with Lieberman, are not able to work together to form a coalition government, what happens next? Would voters accept a third vote? I think they will not take such a risk. The politicians will suffer a major blow if they bring the country within the next three months to another round uh, of elections. They will not take it. They will compromise. The major compromise of Gantz will be that he will probably have to swallow Netanyahu himself. He said he's ready to sit with Netanyahu's party in the coalition, but not with Netanyahu himself. He will probably have to change it. And, and Netanyahu might uh, have to uh, give the prime minister seat to Gantz and take uh, two other major seats like uh, security uh, or foreign affairs uh, for, for his party. So uh, there'll be a compromise. I don't see a third round. Alon Liel joining us from West Jerusalem. Thank you.